Hi, good day, good night, good evening. Uh, depending on what time you happen to be watching this, welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I am a girl star, and today, as you can see from the title, I am doing a reading, relationship reading that is, on Fizz and April and Prince's Love and Ray J. If you guys have been paying any attention to social media over the coming few weeks, uh, Princess and Ray J more recently, um, there has been some controversy around their relationship. Um, all these people have been on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, if you guys want are into reality shows or anything like that. So I thought I'd come on here and actually see what I see around the relationship or what I see around them and what's to come. So first things first, a little announcement as well. If you guys have not seen the last video that I posted, that all candles that are purchased on the House of Stars site, okay, that they will now be burned until the new year will be burned in the House of Stars lab. So meaning that I will be doing candle burns for you. I do have a Black Friday sale that is coming up. So you guys keep mind for that. If you need any, if you want to know any updates or see any testimonials or anything of the sort of the products that I have on my site, they are all located on my Instagram. I do share them on my stories. Or you can just go to the story timeline on the face of my page and click on testimonies or click on energy. Because I put both testimonies, psychic testimonies of, of readings and also my product and reviews on my products in both of those sections. Okay. And if you haven't already, if you're new to this channel, be sure to like the video, of course, subscribe. I do do if you look at my videos, I do because I do a lot of lives on my videos. We are a community where we are welcoming, we're loving, we like to be as family and as one. So we'll love to have you join the community. So by knowing what times that I'm going to be on, make sure that you subscribe to this video and hit the bell for the notifications to when I do sign in. All right, so let's just get into it. I have the birthdays here on my other phone. Um. I made sure I had them up so that I can look at them. Hold on, um, let me see. Where do I have it? Okay, here. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to start off with Prince's Love and Ray J since that's the first one that's here. So, again, uh, here's Princess Love's photo. I had to go to Famous Birthdays to get her birthday. And I have her birthday here is August 14th, 1984, meaning she falls under the sun sign of Leo. Okay, so first I just want to clear the energies, make sure there's positive energies around this reading. Again, this is only what I do see around them. I try to not be biased in my readings, but I'm, I just go solely what spirit says. So let's get into it. Some of this stuff that's happening in their relationship and a lot of the, the controversy that's happening right now and how it's hitting so on social media, some of this stuff is for show, okay? It's almost like an indirect, not direct way of for show. Because at the end of the day, we got to keep in mind that when these people are posting these things about their personal lives on social media and what's to come and all these things, these these things can also be turned into things of monetary value, whether it be um, them having a new sto a storyline when the love a next love and hip hop season opens up, or maybe even a spinoff show. Who knows? But at the end of the day, there is some benefit as to why this is being posted. But of course, I do feel like there is a lot of reality to to a lot of things that are being said. I know that she is carrying a baby right now. They do have a baby. Um. But when it comes to infidelity in this relationship, I feel like this infidelity has been in this relationship since it's pretty much started. Um, I do feel like Ray J does honor the relationship and he's somebody that he looks at it like he takes in that she is his wife. And he definitely wants to have the family dynamic. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of loose ends that he didn't exactly clear up 
before com fully committing to this relationship because I do see the energies that are lingering around and it's not like I feel like it's like something that has been consistent but I do feel like that he has like he got a couple girls where he they just kind of pop in and pop out of his life and he kind of keeps a door open for them to be able to do so okay and of course when it comes to other women and stuff and having fun and things like that like she mentioned of course there's there's one but I feel like there's at least I'm seeing like two to three people that are from the past before he actually got into this relationship with her or fully committed to her where they kind of like it's almost like they kind of take fun with it like they they, they kind of pop in and out of their his life um i do get a sense when it comes to princess right now of course she's pregnant she's very emotional but she just feels really neglected in the relationship just because there's like a lot of like family stuff that she wants to do or things that they want to make as a family but i feel like he's been spending a lot of time away on working or little things come up it just kind of feels like he's a person that he doesn't know how to have structure when it comes to work it's like whenever it's for him it's like if he has the energy to do it and if it means getting up in the middle of the night and having to go somewhere and do something he would do it i'm not saying that he doesn't often but i do feel like it's like he needs to learn how to have more structure and balance when it comes to career and family life um the thing is is that it's really hard for him just because i feel like his life has kind of always been set up this way so he has a hard time of like uh of of really getting to a place of really wanting to sit still um i don't know why i get the sense i don't know if he's working with an artist right now or he's going to work with an artist but i do get the sense that there's a relationship there's somebody that he's going to work with and i think it's a female and they're going to be doing music together but i don't feel like it's like okay this is a person that he's going to do a duet i'm kind of feeling maybe this is a person that he's like 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 a little protege um but there's gonna probably be some questionable interactions when it comes to the relationship dynamic between him and this person um that might be leaked to the public in some shape or form but i do feel like he needs to be careful with that um because uh, I, I don't know why i feel like i'm not surprised if this girl that he works with she has daddy issues because i don't know why i get the sense that she is younger than him and i think there's she's gonna have a miscommunication of their closest and it may turn into something that's not exactly a most kosher thing for business but um that's something that i do see i get the sense that they are going to go to counseling i feel like they're they're going to try to work on their relationship and get things out in the open but there's a lot of things that ray j is not ready to touch base on just because i think when it comes to him and this is like most men they like to compartmentalize their lives you know what i mean so it's like what I do with the boys and when I hang out with the boys is what I do and like my little habits or whatever I have on the streets is that's what I do and then like there's us where it's like for princess's perspective it's like whatever you do on the road is my business and it, it is about us you know what I mean um so I feel like it's like he's gotten into a space in his mind that he's being a little bit not understanding but he's not going to really be understanding until she decides to leave and I, and to be honest i don't even think it's gonna be one of those things that he figures it out right away you know what i mean i feel like it's one of those things that i feel like once he kind of has a crash and burn moment and has a realization of the fakeness that's actually around him and the fact that he in some ways has kind of not gloated but has been comforted by the fact that he knows that he has a home and a family that that has been bringing a lot of stability and it's been a crutch for him to kind of keep everything together and he's not exactly realizing that that's it but um a thing i see with princess is that princess needs to take a big lesson on self-love um i think that she's always had a complex with that like i feel like she does love herself i'm not saying that she doesn't but i feel like it's like she has a pro it, it really hits her deep when she doesn't feel like she's being validated in ways that kind of appease this person that she believes to see herself to be. And when that happens, and this is not just her, this is a lot of people. When that happens, she takes that as a jab to herself deeper than she needs to. And she needs to understand that no matter the greatness of who you are and what you have and how you look and what you can do and all those things that may be at the end of the day, people have their habits and their habits will always be their habits especially when it comes to the fact when they know they already have you you understand it's like sometimes we have a thing of a thing towards that we start to neglect the things that we already have because it's ours 
You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do get the sense that I feel like she's going to, after she has a baby, I feel like she's going to really want to work on the relationship because I feel like Ray J really wants to work with her too. I think he really does want to make her happy. Um, but I don't think he realizes that making her happy, um, would mean him having to give up a lot of his, um, his pleasures of what he does outside of the relationship. Um, and I'm not talking like the woman and stuff like that. I mean, just like, just the, just the. The pattern and how he does things, like how he goes out, how he works too much, or just little things that he does where he, it takes away from putting full attention into his family, the, those things are going to have to scale back in order to actually make her happy, okay? Um, and it's not because, I don't think that's what she wants, but a lot of the problems are stemming from that. So she, he needs to slow that down and retract from that. Um, I get the sense that when it comes to his family, I feel like they're supportive of him. I really do. I feel like they, they, they're going to protect him at all costs if they need be. That's what just family does. But at the same time, I just feel like it's like, I kind of see them like this, where it's like, if you talk to them about it, they will talk to you about it. But for the most part, they don't want to get involved because they know how he sticky he can be when it comes to, um, confrontation on what he should be doing right and what he's not doing right it's funny because um i do, actually i just looked up his date of birth he's january 17th which means he falls under the sun sign of capricorn and capricorns when they are standing in the eagle side of himself they think they know it all <laughs> and it's like it's it's very hard for them to to they don't have problems with self-reflecting but they have an issue where when somebody else takes notice to something that is a flaw or needs a correction and they're being asked or being told to look within themselves at their actions. Like that really bothers them because they always want to appear to be pristine and always have it together. So if anybody calls them out on their stuff, it's always a, like a wall goes up and sometimes they even have a way of like distancing themselves completely from anybody that challenges them in any way in that regard so um i just get the feeling of like putting their hands up in the air um i do see a move though i don't know if like i know she said she didn't want to move to vegas or whatever the case may be maybe they don't move to vegas but i definitely do see a move coming um because if she's trying to make this family thing work she's going to definitely do that if they if and when when they do decide to break up i don't know feel like i get the sense that their relationship is going to overlap. So meaning that I wouldn't be surprised if Princess actually finds somebody else that decides to step in and comfort her. And um, she moves into that relationship. Like she, it's like, it's like a, almost like a back to back situation. Whoever this guy is, he's a, he's a big guy. Like I just feel like a big tall guy. Like he's, he's big. I, I, I don't know why he's like a thicker stature, but I feel like he's, he's a bigger guy, not fat, but just bigger. Um, that I feel like is going to come in and it's kind of going to merge into them being in a relationship. Um, Ray J does need to find right now. I, I don't think he tries to mess with it too much, but he needs to watch himself when it comes to substance abuse as well. Um, just because I get the sense that when he, sometimes he likes to play, but there's times where he has moments where he just gets, he falls in a little bit too deep. It's like he dips his toe in the water and then ends up jumping in, you know what I mean? Or dropping in. He needs to watch himself with the substance abuse and the drinking as well. He needs to do a cleanse. Like, I feel like it's like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if it's like cleansing of the liver or cleansing of some organs or something. But I'm feeling like that he needs to do a cleanse of some sort. Because something is telling me like, he's not treating his body too nice right now. Um, but I feel like when it comes to the relationship, I do feel like somebody is going to actually step forward publicly and, uh, and make mention of her having an occasion or an affair or something with Ray J. That's what I do see coming up for their relationship. Um, but overall, um, I just feel like when it comes to Prince's love, she definitely needs to kind of find her own voice again. Um, because I think when she made a decision to be a family and have this whole family thing is she lost a lot of herself, of course, becoming a mother and being a wife. Um, and there's a lot of sacrifices that she's made. Some of them that she hasn't even allowed herself to admit that she has, um, that she has to take notice to, um, because she's, she's kind of losing herself. She, she really is. And, um, I feel like when she starts to try to get her, herself back on her feet, um, she's going to kind of be like, 
almost like a like a like a I, I guess like a like a bull in the wilderness in the desert like just kind of like where do I go you know what I mean like what direction do I go and how do I do this like who am I again and this, and I feel like also too like there's gonna be some people for her past I don't know why I feel like because of her starting this relationship she has like cut ties with certain friends but there's gonna be some people that are gonna come back in from her past some people that she hasn't talked to in a while that's gonna bring her back into herself um when she decides to if and when she decides to actually look for better outside of the relationship because it's gonna be very difficult trying to get there get each other on the same page okay so that's what i see for um princess love and ray J. we're gonna move into april and little fizz let's see here uh okay one second i need to get uh, like usually i have them written down child but whatever i'm just gonna have to look at my phone and see so i have april jones here so i pulled it up on famous birthdays typically famous birthdays is pretty accurate with birthdays but there are times that i do look online or look on famous birthdays and then i realize that it's not as accurate to say a, a wikipedia but i don't think april jones would have a wikipedia but uh so her birthday here is december 15th 1986 so meaning she falls under the sun sign of sagittarius um uh, let's see if we can find little fizz um or fizz little fizz Okay, well, let's start off with April, and then we'll look into Little Fizz. Okay, there we go. I found it. I, I don't know if he goes. I think he goes by Fizz now, but I don't know. Little Fizz. Oh, he's a Sagittarius too. November twenty sixth, nineteen eighty five. Okay, so they're like a week or two apart. They're both falling under the sun sign of Sagittarius. All right, so let's just get into it. Let me just clear the energies of the last reading so I can get into it and take her home. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the big question for what I said to everybody's been wondering if she got with Fizz to get back at Amarion. I don't think she necessarily did it to get back at Amarion, but let's just say because of what Amarion has done to her, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. And she would love to if it hurt him. Because I feel like he really hurt her. But would I necessarily say it's a driving force and a motive? Not really. But the energy behind it. Because there's a fuck you aspect there. Kind of lulls over the relationship. Um, I do get the sense with her right now. Is that she's really, really falling deep for Fizz. And... I do feel like Fizz does care about her too, but I kind of feel like she's more invested than he is. Um, and I don't know if it's because of, I don't think any reason. I just feel like it's just like, I just think this is just, they love different. You know what I mean? Um, they love very differently. I feel like when it comes to April, April is a person that when she gets in a relationship, she's super invested. Um, I think her thing is that she kind of meets men she has this healer aspect to her. She kind of meets people that she wants to kind of help and heal. But in turn, she's looking for them to heal her as well. But a lot of times when she meets people like this, it's always her being the one that's giving more on her end. Um, I get the sense that when it comes to this relationship, I don't feel like there was anything really going on. I, I feel like Fizz has always had a thing for her. I really do. Like, I feel like... When he's met her or seen her, there's always been a little, I think there was attraction there, but at the same time, I don't think he would have really crossed that boundary at that time. Um, but I think the bigger thing in the in the window when it comes to the situation is when it comes to Amarion, I think Amarion has a way where he can be very self-centered, very self-absorbed, and he could be very cunning. 
Like, he has a very underhanded way of how he deals with... Like, he has this way of how he does things. It's like he excludes. You know what I mean? It's like he'll kind of stumble in on your territory, find a way to be in your territory, and push you out. Like, that's how Amarian is. And I think that when it comes to Fizz, it's like... The, he's going with the flow of what he feels and he knows they have a really strong connection and it's really mutual that he's just kind of like okay like what I feel with her is very mutual so I'm not going to deny what we got because it's too real to kind of just let this guy be the deciding factor as to why I would not experience this with her um, but at the same time, I think that he knows deep, he, he remember, he was one of his boys. He, he knows Omarion. He sees how Omar, he, in physics, sees signs of Omarion that most women are never going to be able to experience or know. And if he knows anything about Omarion, he knows that Omarion, I think that when Omarion got with April, I don't know why I get the sense that he could have been hung up on somebody else. Yeah, I feel like he could have been hung up on somebody else. And I think that Fizz knew that. So there is a part of Fizz that feels like even though Amarya did have feelings for April, a lover, he knows that it wasn't like true love. Like the, some of these, some men, some men, um, they have a way of when they choose their woman um, that it's not this gooey, gushy, like love at first type sight type thing that us women when we fall in love most of us at least experience sometimes men they're very logical in their um their dealings and when they meet somebody that they care about or they feel they care they fall in love with the idea of what the person is and what they can offer if the, and if they are worthy enough to play the position that they feel that they should play um that's what I think kind of was it was with April. And I think that April somewhat knew that. But at the same time, like, they had moments where she felt like we're really real. And those little moments that would kind of come across and come over the relationship, she would hold on to them, like, a lot. And also for the sake of her children. Because I feel like she, she, I feel like she loves her kids. Like, really, really loves her children. Um, I do feel like she's a really good mother and I feel like with her kids, she wants to always give them the best. Um, and that's one thing when it comes to the relationship where it was, where she was always fighting for where it's like, we should be like this because we have this together. You know what I mean? And, uh, Martin was just like, girl, that's you. Like, I didn't sign up for that. Like, it don't need to be that. Like later, like, you know what I mean? Um, I do feel obviously when it comes to Marion, there was like infidelity there. Definitely there was infidelity there. Um, a lot of, I don't know why to see ignoring. I, I, I don't know if he just ignore her. Cause I feel like it's like, there's sometimes like a Marion will move up in the streets and move up all over the place. Like he ain't got nobody at home. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, I feel like that's the energy I'm seeing when it comes to Fizz and April. I do get the sense that I don't know if this is what they want for the relationship but I do feel like if there is longevity, like I feel like if they if they are still together a year and a half from now, there will be a child. Um, I feel like it's like it might be a girl. I don't know. I feel feminine energy. I could be wrong because I'm, I'm I'm sucky with predicting. I'm sometimes I'm good with it and sometimes I'm not. But I feel like a girl. I feel like it could be a girl. But I get the sense that there it will be a baby between them. I do get a sense of like a purchasing of a home. Um, but I also get the sense that they might get a home together, but I do see relocating. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they move out of the city that they're in right now. I, I don't know why I get the sense that they might end up in the South somewhere or get, or probably purchasing real estate in the South. But I do feel like when it comes to April, I feel like around her, there's some business stuff that she's doing, that she's working on or things that she has in mind for herself and her future. Um, but it feels like she, it, it, April, there go April again. Like she's like building um, her life around this relationship. And I get the sense that I just got this, which is weird. I think that Fizz has, I don't know if he has depression or if he has, I'm not a doctor, but Fizz has this thing to him where his moods kind of go up and down. Like it's, and when he has a mood where his mood kind of, goes down he gets 
into isolation mode. So I think April needs to be careful that she might get a trigger in the same trigger that she got with Amara. She might end up getting the same trigger with Fizz because she had he has this thing where he's like, okay, yo, like back up, and he, I feel like he get mean about it too, like real mean about it. Um, yeah, but I feel like it has there's some kind of mental dis. When I say disorder, I feel like I'm just saying it really harshly, but there's some mental pattern that happens with him where when he gets into this mental way of thinking, it kind of, that's like always usually the meltdown of most of his relationships. Um, he doesn't acknowledge it much, but I, I that's what I'm sensing. Um, so that's what I see with them both. Um, there's somebody from the past, it's not Marion, there's somebody from the past that I feel like is still thinking about April too. They've had past dealings. I don't think they've ever really got together, but there was like past dealings that's kind of sitting there with his eyes on her. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I do see for both of these couples. If you do like this reading, make sure that you do share it. Okay. Again, if you would like to get a psychic reading with me, a personal reading, you can always hit me up on any of my social media forums that are located in the description box. Again, if you would like to shop and get some spiritual products that are featured on my House of Stars site, you can always go check my testimonials out, see what products work for you. I also do free consultations on all the products that are available on my site. So if you don't know where to buy, just hit me up. I will just sense your energy, read your energy, and I'll see from there what you actually need. So I do want to thank y'all for your time and rocking with me and all the lovely things that y'all do supporting me. It's greatly appreciated. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Good night.